what gets to be a Telor in physical reality and what doesn't? What is like the minimal criteria for being a Telor? A Telor is defined as a structurally complex syntactor. All Tellers are syntactors, but not all syntactors are Tellers. So for example, I, I or you would be a secondary Teller and a secondary syntactor, whereas a, an inanimate object or a particle is a tertiary syntactor, but not a tertiary teller. And so the distinction there, I think, is essentially that of consciousness. And it's kind of a loose line. I'd say I, the cell and but it's not it's not like just human beings are secondary tellers. You know, this goes all the way down to the cells are considered secondary tellers, you know, basic life forms. But essentially the difference is, you know, those first inklings of consciousness and the ability to process information in a way that's not just like a Turing machine where it takes in a string of information and spits out a different one, but it actually has the structural complexity in order to self-model and have consciousness, sentience, and and freedom. Essentially, like the, the atoms in a wall don't have any real freedom. They just have they're just ordered by higher order dynamics. Whoever built the wall, whoever, you know, made it such that those materials existed, those are, um, they are simply responding to higher order dynamics in the reality system. Whereas um, human beings are not determined externally, but are actually intrinsically self-determining and therefore qualify as secondary tellers. You could model tertiary syntactors, or they're also called syntactic operators in the I think that pretty much corresponds to Leibniz's idea of monadology, is that you have these basically windowless souls without physical extension that respond to the primary monad, which is the primary teller, of course, and then are able to respond to that and cohere on that basis. And so it's like you have all the, all these little all these clocks, and it's like how is there that coherence that allows us to have like one phenomenal reality? And the reason is, is because there's a much higher, much more intelligent thing coordinating all of the seemingly random events in the universe. There's the sort of paradoxical thing, which is like, if these have, if syntactic operators have zero physical extension in 3D space, then how is there any, how is there any universe essentially? Because if you just add up all these zero dimensional points, you don't, you never get a manifold, right? And so, uh, the way that you that you solve that is to model these basically as noumena and then what gives those syntactic operators ex physical extension is the perceptual syntax of uh, of the primary of the of not of the primary teller of secondary tellers and so reality when you're not looking at something it actually it doesn't cease to exist but it has lesser existence than it, it exists in more of an abstract way than yeah. when it's you're not actually, rendered it's not rendered yeah exactly